Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, on the death of former French President Valérie Giscard d'Estaing. His Majesty the King offered sincere condolences to the French President and people, lauding the role and efforts of the former French President in boosting bilateral friendly relations and cooperation in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, on the death of former French President Valérie Giscard d'Estaing. His Royal Highness offered sincere condolences to the French President and people, lauding the role and efforts of the former French President in boosting bilateral friendly relations and cooperation in various fields. The Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief will hold the National Day 11th edition of the Arabian Horse Beauty Championship on the 4th and 5th of December under the patronage of the President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. On the occasion, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the equestrian sport in Bahrain receives support from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that the Kingdom's interest in the equestrian sport in general and the Arabian horse beauty in particular stems from Bahrain's historic heritage. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that he had directed Brief to organise various competitions, including the horse beauty competition. He added that Bahrain witnesses development in horse sports in general and the horse beauty in particular. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah asserted that the Federation is keen at implementing the directors of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, adding that the Federation aims to achieve another success through exemplary hosting an organisation following the successes of previous editions. The Jid Half Secondary Girls School has claimed the bronze medal and a special appreciation certificate at the 5th Korea International Youth Olympiad Online 2020, held virtually by the World Women Inventors and Entrepreneurs Association. On the occasion, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Noemi, extended sincere congratulations to the school for their achievement that adds to Bahrain's distinguished record. The Minister indicated that the remarkable results of Bahraini schools reflect the efforts exerted by the Ministry to encourage innovation, creativity and scientific research. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs organised a virtual workshop entitled Education, Knowledge and Human Rights under the patronage of its Minister, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Ziani, and the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Noemi, in the presence of over 300 attendees. In the beginning, Dr. Al Ziani praised the government's keen interest, supporting and developing the field of education, and that education represents a vital part of the process of development. The Minister thanked His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their continued support of the education sector along with the support of the Minister of Education. The Minister of Education then presented the Ministry's efforts in making education as accessible as possible, while the Assistant Undersecretary, Abdullah al Dazari said that respecting human rights, freedom, rule of law, social justice and peaceful coexistence among the pillars of Bahraini society, under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Industry and Commerce Minister Zaid bin Rashid al Ziani said the approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa stems from a far-sighted vision towards achieving a regional secure and stable future, characterised by a just and comprehensive peace. He underlined Bahrain's keenness to adhere to peace as a strategic option through which frameworks for initiatives to promote international cooperation, stability, peace and prosperity in the Middle East region would be launched. He noted that the results of Bahraini delegation's second visit to the State of Israel would contribute to achieving common interest between the two sides, especially in the economic and tourism fields. al Ziani made the statement as he was received in Jerusalem by the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, who welcomed the Bahraini delegation's visit to the country. He stressed the importance of this visit in enhancing joint cooperation between the two countries and developing peace and security in the region expressing aspiration for more mutual visits in the future. 
During the meeting, Alziani conveyed greetings from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Israeli Premier. He affirmed the success of the visit would open prospects of further joint bilateral cooperation, particularly on commercial, investment and tourism projects between the two sides that meet the aspirations of the two countries and strengthens peace and stability in the region. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Ziyani, held a meeting with the Israeli Foreign Minister, Gabi Askenazi, in Jerusalem on the occasion of the Bahraini delegation's visit to Israel. Al Ziyani said that Bahrain is always working to achieve the regional peace initiative led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. During the meeting, he underlined the drive of Bahrain to constantly emphasise openness and coexistence, which have always been part of Bahrain's history. He pointed out that the second visit of the Bahraini delegation to Israel confirms the kingdom's keenness to promote peace that brings hope and creates opportunities for the peoples of the Middle East, especially for the future generations. He stressed the importance of opening dialogue and direct relations between the Bahraini and Israeli societies and benefiting from their advanced economy, which will build the current positive transformation in the Middle East and will support the stability and security of the region. The Israeli minister welcomed the Bahraini delegation and said that these mutual visits contribute to opening horizons of joint cooperation between the two countries in a way that serves their interests and meets their ambitions. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism held a meeting with the Israeli Minister of Regional Cooperation, Afer Kunis, in Jerusalem on the occasion of the Bahraini delegation's visit to the State of Israel. The delegation includes officials representing different ministries and government bodies. During the meeting, aspects of joint cooperation in the fields of trade, investment and tourism between the two countries were discussed. The two sides highlighted the expected opportunities that these important sectors focusing on how to activate the Memoranda of Understanding signed in the light of the Declaration of Support for Peace. They also discussed a number of issues of common interest that serve the development of economic relations and open the way for the private sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Israel to cooperate and establish joint projects, especially with advanced capabilities of the two countries' economies that help to achieve partnerships in various fields. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism affirmed that tourism in the Kingdom is one of the active sectors endowed with a developed infrastructure, thanks to the great interest of the Government. He pointed out that openness with the State of Israel would contribute in the future to a greater revitalisation of the tourism movement between the two countries in a way that meets aspirations and serves the common interests. Alziani made the statement during the signing of a Memoranda of Understanding in the presence of the Israeli Minister of Tourism or at Fakash al Kohen. He stressed Bahrain's great efforts to upgrade the tourism sector and provide it with the elements that could enhance the Kingdom's standing. This really minister praised the reputation enjoyed by the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of tourism, stressing that cooperation of the two countries in this field would open more prospects for joint work, looking forward to cooperation and joint projects in the upcoming period. Today I had the pleasure of signing an uh, MOU, a cooperation agreement, with uh, His Excellency uh, Mr. El Zayani, the Minister of uh, Economic and Industry and Tourism in your country. We are talking about collaborating in uh, airlines, creating uh, 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 marketing packages for tourism for both the countries so we can target uh, new audiences and new countries. Uh, we were talking about uh, expanding the collaboration on airlines. We initiated the working group uh, uh, between Bahrain and Israel that will start working on programs together. The last two days, uh, the two officials of the ministries uh, uh, conducted meetings with all the industry representatives, with the uh, traveling agents, with the hotels in Israel, with the uh, all the uh, segments of of the industry and uh, it is very exciting. I was very impressed with the knowledge. Uh, we even exchange, exchange experiences about the COVID-19. It is very impressive the way your country uh, handled it. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism visited Israeli Innovation Expo in Jerusalem on the occasion of the Bahraini delegation's visit to Israel. 
During the visit, the minister was briefed on the various exhibits showcased in the exhibition, as well as the most important modern innovations on display, which reflect scientific progress. He added that Bahrain, through signing the Declaration of Support of Peace and upon its second visit, is steadily moving towards strengthening joint cooperation in all fields with Israel and taking advantage of joint opportunities in the interests of the country. He stressed the importance of starting open visits between the two countries in order to strengthen economic relations and exchange experiences, looking forward to joint projects in the near future. We started the morning with a meeting with uh, His Excellency the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, followed by a meeting uh, at the Prime Minister's office with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, and right now we're about midday in our program uh, at a visit at Mobileye, uh, an Israeli high-tech company that has uh, developed uh, driverless uh, autonomous cars. Uh, I've experienced my first uh, situation being in a driverless car we went on a tour for 20 minutes it was very interesting to see how the car reacts to road conditions to other traffic to pedestrians very impressive uh, we we would wish them well to continue on this path and we'd like to see their presence in bahrain soon uh, hopefully uh, we, we've invited them over to come to bahrain and see how we can develop further aspects of cooperation between bahraini companies uh, and and mobile I think it opens up uh, new opportunities. Now, th this kind of technology requires, it's not only technology, it requires also uh, regulatory certainty, regulation, things that can be done much, much quicker in a country like, uh, like Bahrain. It will also uh, be a magnet to lots and lots of other companies and resources. Take, for example, the Israeli Autotech. Israeli Autotech has 600 companies, 600 startup companies, in Israel are part of the Autotech. The, this number of companies is because of the promise of autonomous driving. So if we enable autonomous driving in Bahrain, it will not only be something that will change transportation, but also be a magnet for a lot, a lot of business. And one of the um, key advantages of a country like Bahrain, small size, things can be done very, very efficiently from a regulatory point of view. And I think it opens lots of uh, opportunities. We'll be very happy to see how we can uh, pursue it. Following a rigorous screening process, 40 ideas have been qualified as part of the third edition of the Government Innovation Competition FICRA. The competition was launched in line with the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and is intended to improve a government performance, as per the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and the Government Plan 2019-2021. The intensive distant training course on presentation skills is being held for those qualified for the first phase of the assessment in cooperation with the US-based Babson College, which aims to hone the skills of the participants, who include ministers and senior government officials. The online course will prepare the participants for the next phase of the competition. The Capital Governorate has achieved an international honour by winning the Stevie Award competition in the category of customer service, which reflects its development of its social programmes. The award is intended to reward those with achievements in the fields of innovation, institutional excellence and global cooperation and featured 3,800 competitors from over 60 countries. This achievement crowns the efforts of the Capital Governorate's team, which has been keen on further developing their relationship with the community and improving their services to them.